Hello and welcome. I've got here a six meter long vehicle costing nearly 80,000 euros. It's got a high roof and I like high roofs because I think it gives you a lot more space uh, to feel uh, spacious with. How's about that way of putting it? This vehicle here is uh, the Caribou 600 MQH and it is uh, six meters long as I said, 205 wide, 187 inner width, 312 height, thanks to that additional bit stuck on the top of it. And this gives 238 centimeters of standing height at maximum and a huge amount of payload, nearly 600 kilos. Depends, of course, the payload, bear in mind that you, when you start buying things for it, like extra batteries and what have you, that will, uh, that will change. This is on a Fiat Ducato, and uh, the extra bit, look at all that space, look at all that, Rrr, a huge amount of space there. You can stand up really nice and easily. However, there is something here which I would consider to be a design flaw with the extra space. But before I show you what I consider the design flaw to be, let me show you what the advantage is. And it's in this. This is an extra bed or a bed or a first bed or whatever. Um, and this slides out like this, comes across I won't actually do it because people will be coming in this hall before long that don't want to, uh, uh, people who don't necessarily know what they're doing to actually start uh, messing around with it. But what it will give is height here. You can see where it ends, right there. So, um, the okay, so it's, it's approximately here where you can sit up in the seats. And that, really, that's absolutely possible. You can still sit down here. I want to sit down, turn the camera around, put the camera on. You, and you can see, you can see I'm sort of almost sitting up, right? Not quite, but almost. Uh, why am I wearing a hat? Because it's minus six outside. And uh, you see, you've got all of this space uh, here, which I think is a good thing. Anyway, good. Turn the camera back around. Okay, so that is something positive. Uh, having said that, uh, if you, you <laughs> the front end is where it's at its lowest point where you've got your, got your head. Good, eh? Uh, not bad, right? But what about using that space? What's all this here? The point of this is to collect dust and all sorts of other things. They're not taking the storage right up to the top. There are other brands which do take the storage right up to the top. And that makes far more sense. That's why I suggest you had a look, for example, at the West Failure, uh, which uh, has high roof vehicles, take using all of the space. And the same actually goes, there you go, there's the top of the washroom. Not taking it all the way up, I can't see the point of that. I do appreciate when it says optimal standing height, and I do appreciate that not many people are 238 centimeters tall, but it could do with the storage at the top. There you go, look, there's plenty of standing height here. I mean, you could, you could bring a baby giraffe in here and wash it, but um, the storage, storage. These, this is the problem when you get people who do not use vans who actually design them. Uh, if they've got me doing this, okay, maybe I don't know much all that much about engineering, but I do know about living in a van. And I bet there's viewers here who know about engineering and uh, living in a van, and they should be doing this design work. All right, here we've got reasonable about storage. And we've got this ledge here, which is completely pointless. Uh, you can charge, except for charging phones up at night with, because you've got a USB thing there. Uh, got 230 charging over there. And here is a place for keeping the ladder, which I suppose isn't a bad idea, actually, because normally these ladders are kept some, no, in a way where they just get in your way. 95 litre fridge from Fitzfi Frigo, which I'll show you if I could open it. I can. And it's a two-way fridge, which reminds me I've got to do a video on showing people how to look after their fridges when it's hot. And uh, anyway, it won't be doing it in this one. <laughs> there, that's meant to be a um, 
a wardrobe. I noticed the bar is gone. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm sure I'm sure it'll turn up. And whilst I'm down here, you can see that uh, what's down the the uh, the board which will fit in here to sort of uh, divide the uh, rear from the front. And if you don't mind your stuff sliding forwards and backwards, you don't have to put it on. Maybe you've got something in there which is long. Two burners and a small sink. Can't expect any better than that in a vehicle of this size. And down here. Nice uh, drawer. And here we've got a bit of space which has already been used for other things but could be used for storage. Let's go out. <laughs> Um, water water filter system in here. It's got this easy entry table, which I presume is I don't want something to be if you easy to walk in or what. I don't know. Um, the is a lithium ion batteries. We've got here a uh, extension to the um, uh, the kitchen. It also says you've got electrical soft close for the sliding door as an option. I won't test that one out now. I'll take you to the back and it's okay, right? Um, and blackout blinds. This is uh, actually incorrect. Um, uh, insulation, op optimal insulation through closed uh, um, uh, 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 closed insulation avoiding clo cold bridges that is to say that it's p places where uh, the insulation uh, it can be cold because it's not complete do I make myself clear right you've got an insulation panel here for example another one here so in the middle somewhere that would be a cold bridge so what what you do is you sort of build it over over uh, over the top I'll probably not make myself very clear there but that's that's how it's been done but 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 just want to show you this which it's, it's on the door right so that's clear there's no insulation in this door that door is without insulation and I think they put this on here deliberately to, 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 to mislead people. In my opinion, maybe it's just a, a overlooking by whoever stuck the thing on. I don't know. I'm just making the point. Okay, you can have an electrical um, device so you don't get your hands dirty when you release the grey water. And it can come with a camera as well so you can actually see what's going on. Um, you can have 95 uh, litre wastewater tank, which is insulated. Hopefully it's insulated better than the back door. And uh, um, a water tank also can be heated via warm water as standard. And now, why would you want to heat your wastewater? Uh, the point of that is when it gets cold it can freeze uh, most people have tanks which uh, are in positions which they freeze very easily under slung something like that so that is the point of heating your waste water right stop it freezing I know it sounds a bit daft but the idea is pretty good okay that's uh, this vehicle here um, so I've tried to point out oh I mean mentioned there's a 10 year uh, water ingress guarantee as well and uh, you see also there's windows in the uh, where the bed is at the top in the roof so that would be handy uh, if you uh, want to breathe some fresh air whilst it's roasting outside now I do like the idea of the high roof on the low uh, or small floor plate I think that's great um, I've tried to point out some of the bad things. I do not recommend at all Weinsberg as a company. Please note that. I, uh, um, I do suggest you have a look at similar models uh, from Westfalia, for example, um, Carmen Mobile, uh, amongst others. And uh, that, uh, anyway, uh, breakdown. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And all the best from me in Dusseldorf, not Dusseldorf, Stuttgart, sorry, I forget where I am, I'm in Stuttgart now. <laughs>